Hello and welcome back. This post is about confronting our fears and how what we fear doing most is usually what we most need to do. I got into entrepreneurship for a variety of reasons. One of the major ones is that I knew going this road would force me to have to face the worst parts of myself. And in doing so, it could help me to become the best version of myself. For example, growing up very privileged, developed a bit of an entitled attitude, judgmental, um, not liking to be rejected. And in entrepreneurship, guess what? You're going to get rejected. You know, things aren't going to go your way. People don't owe you anything. They're just going to ignore you. Um, and if you don't have enough value, you might have to mistake publicly make mistakes. You will have to pivot. You will have to constantly adjust and refine based on feedback. And I knew deep inside that this is what I needed, right? That I needed to get slapped in the face by reality a little bit. And that's so far in many ways what this endeavor has been. It's been a long and challenging journey, relatively long. Looking back, it'll be short, but you know, when you're in it, it can feel long. And it's the wake up call that I knew I needed. And even within this journey, you know, like I mentioned, I avoided sales for a bit of time. I didn't really feel worthy or that I knew enough or that I could really contribute anything to anyone else. And so, you know, I spent a lot of time writing like seven books, short books, um, but just trying to get my head in the right space and solidify some of the ideas that now I feel I have a, a better foundation through which I can, and a better framework through which I can guide people. But, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money doing that. I'm still not. And it's not that money is the point. It's that I was avoiding certain aspects of running a, a functioning business, at least not even say successful, but a sustainable business because of these fears that I have. And, you know, mythologically speaking, as Jordan Peter loves to say, the, the treasure of gold is always guarded by a fierce creature like a dragon. And the dragon represents chaos. The dragon represents something that's overwhelming, something that's powerful, uh, something that makes us feel vulnerable. And, you know, we can always choose to run away from the dragon, but then we'll never get the gold. The only way to get the gold is to confront and proverb and metaphorically slay the proverbial, proverbial dragon. Otherwise, you know, we can avoid for our entire lives, but I don't believe that makes us very happy. And that turns into resentment. And that turns into judging others and projecting onto others. There's no road with no costs, no trade-offs, no compromises. We all have to find our personal balance navigating between the comfort of order, what I call the comfort of order and the chaos of growth. Because in many ways, order does bring comfort. It's present. It's it's uh, predictable. It's safe. It's certain. There's security. Chaos is wild. I mean, growth is wild. Growth is uncertain. It's chaotic. And 
you know, we all need to find our personal balance. For me, living at home with my parents is a form of order. It's a form of comfort. But it comes with its own set of challenges as well. If I were to, you know, get a, another job and, and do this part time, there's a, a trade off there as well. And so, you know, we all have to figure out what is our what is our personal balance between those two worlds? And I guess what I'm just sharing here is that what stands in the way becomes the way. And this was really a reminder to myself as well that, you know, I'm not going to be able to find self actualization in my comfort zone. And, you know, when, I, when I'm afraid of things, I, I don't immediately act. I, sometimes it, it takes me months. Sometimes it takes me years, maybe. I've slowly narrowed it down. But, you know, there'll be times where I'll feel fear about having to do a certain thing, like message people or try to sell. And I'll, you know, postpone it for like a day or two. But the cycle is definitely shrunken. And I'm able to go through that fear a little bit more quickly. And hopefully that, it certainly makes me feel better. But hopefully that will translate you know, professionally as well. So... I think that's all I have to share. Lean into the flinch. Yes, sir.